Welcome to Book Rebel, I'm Dustin, and today we're going to be talking about the lost Michael Crichton novel, Dragon Teeth. So when I heard that there was a new Michael Crichton novel coming out, my immediate thought went here. And here. And here. And unfortunately for us, Michael Crichton's new book, Dragon Teeth, doesn't have any dinosaurs. Well, I mean, it sort of does. They're just dead. First of all, I do just have to thank the lovely people over at Harper Collins Canada for sending me this arc through work. I'm really, really excited for this one because of the dinosaurs! <laughs> Dragon Teeth centers around a young college student named William Johnson. He gets goaded into going out west to the wild west of America with a very eccentric professor to go find dinosaur bones. Now, while Johnson's character is fictional, the paleontologist that, that they, he goes off on an like, expedition with is actually based on a real individual, which I thought was really interesting. Just knowing that uh, these two uh, paleontologists that are fighting all throughout the story are actual people. It's just something really cool that adds a different layer to this piece of fiction. There's that really cool non-fiction element in it. And I love that there was a bit of a Canadian connection in there. In Jurassic Park, he actually mentions the Royal Tyrrell Museum, which is where I went down and shot uh, those dinosaurs. And then in this one, there actually references a book that is written all about the Red Deer River Valley, which is like a stone's throw distance from where I am. By and large, Dragon Teeth was a very engaging story. The characters were very rich. There was some language issues that I had with it, not so much like cussing, but just with some slang terms uh, for Aboriginal people, which I didn't necessarily appreciate, and I don't necessarily think that it needed to be in there to showcase that it was set in that time period. I love this cover. It is just gorgeous. This one just came out uh, May 23rd. If you are a fan of Michael Crichton, I know you're already going to be picking this up, but if you've never read any of this stuff, this I think would be a really interesting place to start. Uh, most people will probably would start with Jurassic Park, but um, this one might be fun because you go from dinosaurs being dead and then maybe you read Jurassic Park and all of a sudden those dinosaurs are eating people. I did really enjoy this one. There are a few problematic pieces in it, but I mean, no novel is perfect. So if you are looking for a really nice adventure book, I think this one would serve you very, very well. There is some suspense, there's a little bit of romance. It kind of reads like what I would imagine a Western would. I've never read a Western, but it definitely has those elements. So there wasn't too much that I could pick apart on this story, and I think that's really great. I think that a lot of his fans will be very pleased with this one. And if you have read Michael Crichton before and are really familiar with his work, I'd love to know if you would consider this piece to be like classic Crichton or kind of past his peak Crichton. For me, to you, I hope your day is just tickety-boo. I will see you soon.